I'm Dr. Vanita Rattan. I'm a doctor, but also a cosmetic formulator specifically for skin of color. So today's video is the ordinary skincare routine if you have hyperpigmentation. Today I'm going to be discussing why you get hyperpigmentation, the best and most affordable of the ordinary products, how to layer them, common mistakes that happen. And as you know, my videos are all non-sponsored. This means we only provide evidence-based information on this channel. Don't forget, I am in the comment section for one hour at the launch of every YouTube video. So when you subscribe, make sure you hit that notification bell. If you want additional information on skincare, please do get your hands on a copy of Skin Revolution. It's a book that I've written, published by Harper Collins. You can also follow me on Instagram, TikTok, and Facebook, and ask me skincare questions there too. Without further ado, let's dive right in. So first of all, what is hyperpigmentation? Hyperpigmentation is temporary darkening of the skin that happens from inflammation. So for example, on the face, it tends to happen post acne, or it can happen on the cheekbones and on the forehead um, from UV damage, that's called melasma, it tends to be more prominent in females. It can happen on the body from post acne again, or any form of trauma. Um, I always say one scratch, one bite, or one burn, and we hyperpigment. Now hyperpigmentation is a much bigger problem for skin of color, because our melanocytes are larger and they are easier to trigger. This means we have to be a lot more careful with our skincare. And so actually when we're buying products to put on our skin, not only do we need to make sure that they're calming down the melanocyte by using tyrosinase inhibitors, you wanna make sure they're not irritating the skin simultaneously, worsening hyperpigmentation. And so it's a fine line that we need to walk actually if you have skin of color and you're trying to treat your hyperpigmentation. And that's what today's video is all about. I'm very excited. So some of the key actives that I love, tyrosinase inhibitors, would be things like alpha arbutin, licorice root extract, and vitamin C. I also love niacinamide. It works slightly differently. It's not tyrosinase inhibitor, but does help to reduce hyperpigmentation. I also love green tea extract, kojic dipalmatate, octodecanoic acid, and also vitamin A. Vitamin A is also very effective, increases cell turnover. So again, it's not a tyrosinase inhibitor, but it does to have to minimize hyperpigmentation. Another effective ingredient are your chemical exfoliators. They remove the top layer of dead skin cells. It does give you temporary brightening, not long-term brightening. That happens from your tyrosinase inhibitors. So the way tyrosinase inhibitors work is that they penetrate into the skin deep to where the melanocyte lives to calm it down. That's a cell that's producing too much melanin, too much pigment. And so everything else you're doing, you know, removing the top layer of skin will be temporary brightening, but hyperpigmentation comes back again because your skin is a living organ. Until you calm down the root cause, it's gonna keep happening. So let's go through your AM and PM routine. Starting off with your AM routine, I like the squalene cleanser. It's hydrating and that means it's healing. If, however, you've got post-acne hyperpigmentation and you have live acne, then go for a BHA cleanser instead, so a salicylic acid cleanser. The second step here is your niacinamide 10%, helps to control sebum production, also helps to reduce any hyperpigmentation, and also helps to strengthen the skin barrier, which can become damaged with acne or overuse of other active ingredients. The next step I'd use is the moisturizer. I really like the natural moisturizing factor. Um, however, if you have acne, I would opt for a gel moisturizer. You can either use Face Theory Gel Moisturizer because The Ordinary doesn't have one, or you can use our AM Gel Moisturizer, which has been designed for skin of color to help you with hyperpigmentation, but in a light gel format. The most important step of your AM routine is going to be your sunscreen because when UV hits the skin, it worsens hyperpigmentation. I can't stress that enough. And if you have melasma, then definitely opt for um, a zinc oxide based sunscreen. So a mineral sunscreen because it's anti-inflammatory. You wanna calm down any inflammation on the skin. So there isn't one in the ordinary uh, range, so I can't recommend it. However, I have made you a mineral sunscreen specifically for skin of color, fragrance free with niacinamide in it. I'm going to show you what it looks like because often mineral sunscreens give you a white cast. 
but I made sure I made this for skin of color so it should give you no white cast. So with it, I also put in Blue Shield technology, um, plus we put in um, Mellis Shield, so it helps you with hyperpigmentation during the day. So you can see there's no white cast. It gives you a bit of a dewy finish, so I usually wear it under my makeup. Then is the PM routine, so double cleanse with your squalene cleanser. Um, I do like Alpha Arbutin, so it's a very effective terabosinase inhibitor. The vitamin C's that they currently have available is a Ascorbyl Tetro Isopalmitate. This is an oil base, which is good for melasma, or Opfer Ascorbyl Glucoside Vitamin C, which is water-based, and opt for that if you have acne. These aren't my favorite vitamin C's because vitamin C's I tend to want in combination with other antioxidants and an airless pump, but these are the ones that are available in the ordinary. So just check the smell and check the color. It should not be going brown. The next step, if you're getting red marks, so PIE red marks, uh, opt for the azelaic acid 10% um, and then top this up with your natural moisturizing factor moisturizer so that's going to just create a second layer of film basically hydrate the skin and create a healing environment for all the actives to work a classic mistake is thinking let me add more serums it'll be more effective but actually by the time you've added, the, added your third serum it's not really penetrating the skin anymore so you're it's not going to be very effective it's a bit of a waste of money so this is a great routine for an affordable first line treatment for hyperpigmentation if it doesn't work then you want to upgrade to cocktail cream so the one that I like that's affordable is from Good Molecules called the Discoloration Serum. If that doesn't work, then I have created a kit with 10 tyrosinase inhibitors in it for you. It's called the Facial Pigmentation Kit, specifically for skin of color. Again, in airless pumps to protect it from oxygen. But this is not your first line treatment. This is expensive. I always say start cheap. So start with the products that are available in the drugstore using this ordinary um, routine that I've recommended today. It's very good. Uh, if it doesn't work, then you have an option to upgrade. That's the only reason to get this. Let me know which other routines you want me to make for you from The Ordinary or from whichever brands you want. Just write them down below and I will see you in the comment section. Take care. Bye.